Hey everybody, Jason Medley here uh, from the Collective Genius Real Estate Investing Mastermind where we place high caliber real estate investors, probably much like yourself, on the fast track to uh, scaling their business, building wealth, and giving back. Now today, what we're gonna talk about is a little bit of all of those things, right? Scaling your business and building wealth. So, what I wanna talk to you about is, uh, we start out the video showing you here, one of our members, Frank Kava, just took down 75 doors, right? Now, the topic of today's conversation is, how to create all the inventory that you need while also scaling your rental portfolio and cash flow, right? So I'm gonna tell you how he's doing that. This is a killer concept that he's doing, especially in times when everybody's complaining about generating deal flow, right? So Frank's a stud, he's, uh, he's actually on our leadership team here. And uh, I'll show you a picture of this gentleman. Uh, one of the smartest people that I know uh, and probably one of the most driven human beings that I know. So he's out of, uh, he's out of Richmond, Virginia. He'll probably do a couple hundred flips this year and he's probably creeping up on 300 plus units in his rental portfolio. Let me tell you how he's kind of combining both of those strategies into one multiple, right? So um, what he's doing here is here, bear with me just one second, I'm gonna get to, uh, get to the whiteboard. So you saw that he took down that portfolio, right? Now he took down about 75 units, right? Now, my handwriting. <laughs> is terrible so you're gonna have to bear with me on this right so he took down about 75 units and so when frank looks at a portfolio he doesn't just see it as scaling his business or, or building his wealth through adding a rental portfolio right what he does is he looks at it he sizes it up and he says i'm gonna break this down this due diligence on this portfolio into three effective quadrants right and one is wholesaling quadrant one is his flip quadrant and one is his rental quadrant and i'm saying quadrants but there's actually only three up here so if you're smart you're catching that um and if you're not you're me so anyway uh wholesaling so what frank does is when he's evaluating and doing the due diligence on the portfolio he looks at it and says you know what i'm gonna wholesale 10 of these units and then he looks at the rest of the portfolio and he says you know what there's five in there that if i clean them up a little bit i can either wholesale them or take them to retail as flips right so he says, I'm gonna wholesale 10 of these units, I'm gonna flip five of them, and the remaining 60 units, right, I'm gonna keep in my portfolio to, keep ca to, to create cash flow. Now, here's the cool thing of what he's done here. Not only, right, not only has he added to his rental portfolio and built wealth, but through the acquisition of this package, he has also created inventory for his flip business to create his active income. Mm -hmm. So the cool part about this is when he wholesales this and generates immediate cash, what he can do with that cash is now put that towards the rehab of the flips on those five on these on these particular this particular batch of properties, right? So it's it's one conclusive strategy that's actually feeding the different aspects and different buckets inside of his business. Now, uh, I think a lot of people are probably going to ask the question, how in the heck do you fund a 75 unit portfolio most of the time these types of acquisitions are done through what's called a syndication okay uh, effectively you offer equity ownership in the portfolio for people that are adding money to the equation and then you have the debt side of the service where like another one of our members a lima one or an anchor loans might come in and fund the the bank debt if you will so the next video that we do is actually going to i'm going to actually going to share with you how a syndication is structured and more importantly how uh, our members uh, actually team up to fund these types of syndications so the individual taking them down like mr kava doesn't have to really get a dime into their own pocket okay so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this today killer strategy here if you're kind of wondering like how do you go about finding portfolios uh, one of the best ways to do that is to get a list of people that own 10 or more units inside of your marketplace. I'll tell you, you can do that. You can reach out to Mr. Chris Richter from Audantic. He's a data analytics provider inside of CG. He can help you with that. And uh, with that said, uh, this is next level thinking. I'll talk to you guys soon. If there's anything we can ever do to help you, uh, you know, help you think bigger, help you raise money for these types of syndications, uh, just check us out anytime, right? You're more than welcome to go to uh, learnmoreaboutcg.com. Again, that's learnmoreaboutcg.com. You'll learn a little bit more about what we do over here at the Collective Genius Real Estate Mastermind. And with that said, we're signing off.